we were informed, you know, this morning by Dr. Gales um, and the council was as well, that he'll be stepping down as from serving as the county's health officer on September 12th. And I believe Dr. Gales is going to go down as one of the most important people in our county's history. His leadership and strength and compassion as our health department officer during this probably the most significant public health threat any of us have ever experienced has been remarkable. And I'm thankful for a service to the residents of Montgomery County and to my administration and to me personally. Um, I relied on him heavily. Uh, we spent a lot of time talking about decisions that would be made. And I had complete confidence and continue to have complete confidence in the leadership he provided in the direction um, that he helped to lead the county. I also think Dr. Gales has been a true profile in courage. Um, he's gone through hell over the past 18 months. And the first is he's had to fight with his boss, who's the governor. Um, he advocated policies that were often opposed to what the governor was advocating. And I don't know if most people realize this, but the health officer is actually a joint appointment of the county and the governor. And so to be at odds with your boss is not an always th not always an easy thing to do. To be at odds with your boss in a high profile situation for 18 months is probably an extraordinarily difficult thing to do. But that's one of the things I really appreciated about Travis having the courage to tell us the right thing and not the political thing and being willing to do that knowing that he was making one of his bosses very unhappy. Um, he's had to respond to every question, every recommendation and every issue from myself, from the county council, from our state and congressional delegations, our hospitals, our faith communities, our community groups and associations, as well as businesses and, re and residents. And he absorbed the torrent of hate and vitriol from segments of the public, including receiving threats on his safety, racist and homophobic emails, and social media attacks. So he just didn't get to be the doctor, but he was attacked in unprecedented ways throughout this. Um, yet it was his recommendations and consistent guidance on the best health practice that actually enabled us to be one of the safest, large jurisdictions in the country in combating COVID. Um, I look forward to his return from vacation and hope the council, our state and congressional delegations and everybody in Montgomery County will join us in thanking him and wishing him well on his future endeavors. We're fortunate that we have a strong team in the Department of Health and Human Services, the Division of Public Health Services, the Board of Health, and across my administration, it's in order to be able to continue our response and recovery efforts. Dr. Raymond Crowell will immediately be begin working with the Maryland Department of Health on filling this, in, this important position. I wanna be clear about one thing, we're not gonna accept the new health officer from the state who's not gonna lead from what the science and data show. We are not going backwards and we're not going to a health officer who does not respect the science and data. And you know, if, if I could clone Dr. Gales, I would. Um, but whatever we, we are going to get is gonna be somebody who has dem can demonstrate the same kind of leadership and courage that Dr. Gales was able to demonstrate. Um, and to be independent, which is the most important thing. If you find our videos useful to you, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel.